someone's posing this question to you, not me. I buy your argument that hormones are safe. I am now 56 years old. I finished menopause at 49. Isn't it too late to do anything about it? So the question of the timing hypothesis is what are you afraid of? We're worried about cancer. We're worried about blood clots. We're worried about heart disease. But the question is, is does the hormone therapy that we use apply to the data that we have? And I would argue it doesn't. Now, hormone therapy is indicated for three reasons. Vasomotor symptoms, hot flashes, night sweats, that sort of thing. Prevention of osteoporosis, which to me is the green light. So anyone should be offered hormone therapy right. because who wouldn't want to prevent osteoporosis? And the thing I just talked about a lot is the genito and urinary syndrome of menopause. So anybody of any age, and I'm talking even perimenopause and premenopause, vaginal estrogen or DHEA is safe and really helpful to prevent UTIs and should be used absolutely everywhere. Throughout life. Throughout life. The hedging strategy, which says not only use as little as possible for as short a duration as possible, says you really need to stop this after 10 years, right? Definitely not. So that's really, <laughs> the, the. there is no data to suggest stopping it. In fact, stopping it, all of your bone gains that's go right. away. They all go away quickly. So keep them on, right? Yeah. The, and again, this idea of if hormones, if, you, if it's not broke, don't fix it. By taking a woman off of hormone therapy, you actually potentially could be disrupting any plaques that are there. You could be causing vasospasm. Like there are all these things that could happen. And so it, we really don't want to take women off their hormone therapy unless there is a reason to. And the only reason I honestly see is if a woman has an active cancer that you are going to target hormones as a target for your treatment of cancer. That's not to say the hormones cause the cancer, but we have a target sometimes because all body parts have hormone receptors. How do we manage hormones in women who are at risk of breast cancer uh, have been diagnosed with DCIS, which is not cancer, but increases the risk of cancer. So that's kind of a subset of the first group. And then in women who actually have breast cancer or have a history of treated breast cancer. So I don't like fear. I don't like telling women they can't do things with their body. I like understanding, well, what are we afraid of? And so when it comes to the BRCA patients, if you do surgical menopause on someone and they don't have cancer and you do not give them back hormone therapy, you are trading one problem for another. You may give them extra life from a breast cancer perspective, but you are shortening their life from a bone health and a cardiovascular disease perspective. That is very clear. 